For the invisible things of him from creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. So people who say, you know, well, where's God? I don't, I'm turning away from him. You know, they're without excuse. A lot of people who seek God, they mm. also, at the same time, turn on MTV and, you know, one day and then the next day they're going through a bad time and it's like, well, where's God? Or they, you know, go see, um, you know, terrible movies or they, you know, smoke their pot or whatever. Well, where's God? You know, yeah. the, the next day and um, he's there. Um, and at the same time, I don't want to invalidate people's issues. Some innocent children grow up just with horrible, horrendous lives mm -hmm. and um, don't have time to talk about that now. But um, there, there's some tough things that people don't even, they never asked for. And well, to me, it's about bad. having faith. I mean, you, yeah. you can't just think God's going to do this and God's going to do that for you. You have to have faith in him. Yeah. And, and actually believe in him and not just using him as some sort of, you know, God give me this, God give me that. You know, you have to believe in him and have faith in the Lord in order for him to enrich your life. Yeah. So. Yeah. Without faith, it's impossible exactly. to please God. Exactly. Professing themselves to be wise. Okay, now we're talking about college and we're also talking about this um, thing with the president on TV saying it's a fact global warming is a fact, or what does he call it, climate change, it's a fact. Yeah. Okay, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. That's a foolish thing he's saying, it's exactly. not true. Yeah. Um, and change the glory of the incorruptible, uh, incorruptible God to an image made like to corruptible men and to birds and mm -hmm. four-footed beasts and creepy things. Um, you know, when I read that, I think about evolution, mm -hmm. which is another uh, conversation that I've talked about here yep. on the show. Um, and you can go to my website, um, 11th Hour Politics, Ticks.com, and um, there's a lot there that um, shows why evolution is just really silly. I mean, I know that, gee, that's controversial too. Yeah. But, you know, the, te the school teaches one side, nobody gets a chance to hear the other exactly. side, and it's really a goofy. Um, I, rec I recently watched a vi another video uh, between a person that I guess puts on the cr a creation conference or something like that yeah, here yeah, in Portland. Yeah. Um, well, friend, good, friend, there, good friend of mine uh, went to it, and uh -huh. uh, I guess it was a debate or something like that mm -hmm. that was at Portland State. Mm -hmm. I was watching this. It was actually really great, mm -hmm. and uh, they, they, the, it was between an atheist, and I, I forget the guy's name that was doing it. Uh, but Eric Coven? Coven, yeah, that's it, yeah. Yes. And uh, he, he was really making some great points, and mm -hmm. I mean, I was believing him over the atheist guy, you know, so. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah I, mean, I have his father, Kent Hoven. Oh, okay, okay. On, the, um, on my website. Yeah, I did yeah. a seminar that, and, and it, what's really great about them is they let you, um, there's no copyright, they want to get the word out. Get the word out, I yeah, mean, exactly. You have to get the word out. Yep. Um, okay. Um, okay, God gave them up to uncleanliness through the lust of their own heart to dishonor their own bodies. Um, and we're seeing a lot of um, lust. Uh, I mean, just it's just rampant, you yeah. know, um, internet pornography and things like that. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshiped and served the cre creature more than the creator mm -hmm. who is blessed forever. Amen. Um, okay, so now we get to Agenda 21. Here's one verse. They tra changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator. So, all of a sudden, because people are rejecting the Bible, all of a sudden now we have this UN, New World Order, mm -hmm. Agenda 21 agenda. Yep. That is, um, um, they use climate change. Oh, yeah. And, and, of course, they use global warming. Yeah, yeah. Not long ago. And then it's like, oh, wow. They changed it to climate change. Yeah, they yeah. have to, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. It's about marketing, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. What what are the people going to believe? Yeah. Well, they don't believe global warming anymore because it's getting cold. Yeah, because exactly. Because it just changed the word. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to say anything about... Um, well, as I said at the Willamette Week of video, I believe uh, climate change is a myth. Yeah, And yeah. it's, uh, I mean, whether they call it global warming or the liberals change it to mm -hmm. climate change, it's still a myth. It's a mm -hmm. hoax to me. And it's, I mean, man-made global warming is a myth. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, it's, it's, I mean, I just call it weather myself. I mean, it's, it's weather, you know, mm -hmm. come on. I and mean, it's been happening for millions of years, mm -hmm. or, not, or at least 5,000 years. But, mm -hmm. um, but basically, I mean, I, I, a friend of mine told me uh, about the um, uh, Mount St. Helens eruption here mm -hmm. recently. Mm -hmm. And that actually, the Mount St. Helens eruption released more carbon into yeah, the atmosphere yeah. than any man-made global warming claim could ever, ever do. But, I yeah. mean, the point is... 
it's, it's all about control, is what it is. It comes down to control. And when I said uh, global warming or climate change, or as I said, what I call weather, uh, climate change is a myth, mm -hmm. I think that kind of insulted their religion, yeah. as you were talking about the religion of the, of the creature, as opposed to the creator, so. Yeah. Yeah, and that's going to cause um, this earth to just be enslaved yeah. to the United Nations. I mean, they don't care about you. God yeah. loves you. Yeah. They don't love you. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. I, I, I want to go one step further on the um, on that. Not only is there not, not um, climate change, and well, mm -hmm. change, but... Um, Instead, in the Bible, it talks about when the sin is just to its fullest, the wrath of God will come down. I mean, um, it's sin. It's because of sin. It's not because of anything else. Mm -hmm. As if, if we're seeing strange things, yeah. you know, the Bible's clear about what, what why. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so here, here we're going to get to the next political issue, and it's marriage between one man and one woman. Mm -hmm. um, for this cause, God gave them up to vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. Likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burn their lust one toward another, mm -hmm. men with men, working that which is unseemly. Mm -hmm. um, people say that, well, the, um, people are born this way. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, there's a lot of issues that we're born with. We're born into sin. Um, but we need to overcome those sins. Mm -hmm. um, so the problem is, is that as a society, instead of embracing them and helping them through that, and we love you, and but this still isn't right. We still need to help you work through this, and mm -hmm. you know, and, and the church again, they were they were asleep on that. They really, um, typically, I think, um, spent more time condemning them than loving them and trying to help them through it yeah so now it's kind of the opposite now we're being condemned um for believing for, that marriage is between one man and one woman i yeah. mean it, to me marriage is a religious institution in itself mm -hmm. and i mean here in oregon we do have civil unions yes that um people can i guess get together in a civil union and um but when they try to infringe upon our religion in terms of calling it marriage as opposed to a civil union, mm -hmm. that's not right. I mean, marriage is a religious institution between one man and one woman. That's mm -hmm. the way it is in the Bible, and that's the way it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, by by the liberals or those on the left that try and uh, that are trying to change the word marriage, like they've changed so many other words in our in our English mm -hmm. language, it's basically perverting the word. And it's not something, I mean, as I said, marriage, one man, one woman, mm -hmm. a religious institution. They shouldn't be trying to get into our religion and trying to affect us and basically shame us into thinking that marriage is something else that it isn't. Yeah, you know? yeah, so, yeah. If they want to talk about separation of church and state, which is Exactly, doesn't, doesn't yeah. Exist. I mean, they're hypocrites in yeah, that way. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. And also, um, on here, you know, uh, skipping a verse, um, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Um, in other words, um, it, it's not convenient. God's saying this is, it's not convenient. And he's talking about um, the conclusion of this. And he lists all kinds of things that are really uh, hard, not just um, whether it's hard on a homosexual, whether it's hard on um, a child, an adult, anybody, the, the entire society, um, being filled with all unrighteousness, forn fornication, um, wickedness, and co uh, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, um, malignity of evil. Um, I'm sorry, hold on. Whispers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors, covet seekers, and without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. I mean, these are things when a society is built on these uh, things, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing for anybody. It might, might work out pretty good for me one day, and then the next day when it comes against me, it's going to work out pretty inconvenient for me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I look at uh, societies over our history. Mm -hmm. I mean, I look at the Roman society. I mean, that when things started happening similar to what are happening right now, the fall of Rome came. And when they turn away from God, mm -hmm. then you're going to have a fall of society. I mean, you look at Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, they turned away from God. 
and their society fell. And yeah. so we have to we have to reinvest in our Christian religion. We have to reinvest mm -hmm. in God yeah. and, and have that faith. Yeah, and so. it's and it's to everybody's advantage, no yeah. matter where you fit in any category. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's um, it's the freedom. It's the joy. It's the love yeah. um, that that comes you know throughout all of it. And if we have struggles, don't try to get society to accept those struggles. I mean, whatever it is, it could be a guy beating his wife. You know, why 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 do we want society to accept a guy that well he beat his wife um i want to read this one last thing and then you'll sure. have just a few seconds to okay. because we're, we got to conclude sure knowing the judgment of god that they which commit such things are worthy of death not only do the same but have pleasure in them that do them in other words it's not just that we do these things that's what we're finding is a society pleasure in doing the wrong things pleasure against rebellion against um you know the judeo-christian heritage that made our country great it's like the moral fabric of our country is yeah. coming apart yeah and we need as i said we need to reinvest our faith in god mm -hmm. and we can't have we can't put pleasure over what's morally right or what's honorable or what has integrity and character, character. I mean, one thing that's also been degrading is character in our country, and we need to have men of character, men and women of character, um, in there representing mm -hmm. us for our country to be strong. We can't be afraid. We can't be intimidated. I mean, other countries around the world, if we're afraid, other countries around the world are going to see that and they're going to take advantage of us. And they're um, some of them aren't based in God either, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, we just have to get back to that. We have to get back to where we were founded. Mm -hmm. And we were founded with our belief in God. Yep. So.